Cheers, people. What's going on? I just I just got up. Thursday. 9th of February. Just a hello and a, a little bit about music. Um, I'm smiling because, again, thankfully I have a good perspective about humanity, human behavior, and what's going on in this world. So I hope that um, you're doing well. Part of what I wanted to do is shout out Michael P. Dawson. As I've said before, he's not someone I've actually met, but I get a vibe from him that he's the sort of person that I would enjoy um, visiting with and probably creating with. And I thought I would do this because um, he answered the uh, Chris Propes um, vinyl thread. And I thought to myself, well, I wonder how many other folks could do this because he showed some cool records. And I have all of them. And I thought to myself, and especially after looking at some of the comments on his video, it's like, hmm, people don't know about these records. But I have them all. <laughs> the Verto, Verto, real 1936. Yeah, <clears throat> I love these musicians and the Magma Connection. Their other album. I like even better, but I don't have it on vinyl. But I thought it was ultra cool that Michael showed this. I said, yeah, I got to show that. Nobody else is showing that record. I'd shown this recently, uh, Iron Butterfly, and talked about seeing them live. Then I heard from Dave Newhouse where he saw the actual real band. But I thought I'd take the opportunity to talk about their, their first band, their first album, Heavy, because I agree with Mike that Ball is probably overall their best album. But this has Iron Butterfly theme. Have you ever heard that? I don't know how your your response, your reaction was to that when you were a kid, Michael. But when I heard Iron Butterfly theme for the first time after hearing In a God of the Vita, I was floored. I was like, this is psychedelic. This is heavy. And then the fact that I could get it on a 45, it was a, a B-side. I think it was the B-side of the single for In a God of the Vita. So I was able to own it as a kid because I didn't I, you know, didn't have these records when they were out. So I, Iron Butterfly Heavy is is a favorite of mine. I didn't grab the Y, but I have the Y. I got to remember what he showed for Y. <laughs> I have them all though. Oh, yes, Dhamma Yamashita. Yeah, it's right over there. The Inn was cool. What a great um, choice for Inn. News from Babel. Letters Home. I love these musicians. Robert Wyatt, Dagmar Krause, Bill Minton, Bill Galonis, Lindsey Cooper, Chris Cutler, Zena Parkins. These people are the best. I love that I'm, I'm socializing within their circle. I hear from Dagmar, um, just friendly hellos, and she um, she likes she likes when I not everything I say, but I I appreciate when she vibes with the things I say. I also have the other news from Babel album. I thought I'd go ahead and do this and show the other one. This is stuff that people, folks, you know, that say, "Oh, never heard of this stuff." <laughs> Find out about this stuff. You know, if you don't want to listen to me, or listen to Michael. This is some good shit. This is uh, head expansion. This is stuff that the stuff you ought to ought to know about. Can I get the Yamashita right quick? Yeah, I also agree, agree with um, Michael's assessment of this album that Hugh Hopper was indeed uh, the secret weapon, the secret sauce. Speaking of that, I'm just wrapping up my my um, jag of downloading, and I just downloaded a bunch of Hugh Hopper records I'd never heard. He's That's the other thing that I've, I'll do this. I'll, I'll go trawling like a fisherman. 
for for music at different times and in different ways. And what I've been discovering is all these records, all this music that people have made that I actually didn't know about. Brian Eno has this soundtrack that I'd never heard before. And um, it's got a bunch of music on it. Let me just, because I put it on my computer. That's what I do. I do enjoy, um, where is it there? Okay. What is the name of it? The Lovely Bones. Um, I had, I, if it had been advertised or talked about in the music, in music, in the music press, I had missed it because one of the first tracks on it is with Elizabeth Fraser from Cocteau Twin singing. I said, I've never heard this before. And she's with Brian Eno and this is really good. The other one that surprised me is the one that he made with Ja Wobble. Is it Spinner or Spanner? Spinner? I didn't pay any attention to it. And then when I listened to it after the download, I was like, wow, this is really good. Real good. And the other, the, the L that he showed is like, yeah, I've never seen anybody else show this record. And I bought it when it came out because of liking Thomas Dolby and the fact that it was, you know, what is this? Low noise, jungle line, and these are good. I like the B side even better than the A side. Very cool, Michael. And a shout out to you. You know, it's just like I was remarking to myself. Every record he showed, it's like, oh, I have that, I have that. And it, I just kept thinking to myself, well, no, no wonder I vibe in my mind with Michael. There's so many parallels with his music collection that was mine. So I had to do that. I thought that would be fun. Just fun, something fun to share. Hello, family and friends. I hope everyone is well. And yes, as my, public, my as my profile public profile grows, I do have to deal m more and more with mediocre people who d just don't really have good common sense. So I just delete that stuff. Okay, you know these people are so thick. Th thick-headed, they don't understand that their stupid actions just look stupid to me. They don't hurt me. That's why I always speak up, because this is something that people have need to learn. People are hurt horribly by the things that other people say. And it's like, it's just a little secret that more people need to know, which is all that people did, all that person did was transmit to you garbage in their head. It isn't doesn't have to be real for you. It's only real if you accept it and agree with it. And well, I tell you, you know, I'm still working on this knowledge, but it's such it's so powerful to know this, to just level the playing field of people's bullshit so you can enjoy their um, what they have to offer and just push aside people's crap because we all have it. I have to, I, I want, I have to watch myself with my own crap with other people. Okay. I do. So that's where I'm coming from people. Let no one else dictate your reality. They're just telling you what theirs is. They don't know any better than you do. Maybe even less. So that's my stance. Be strong, people. Play some good music. Be creative. Have a, have a wonderful time now. Talk to you.